Hi, this is Tal with Motion Guidance, and I'd like to introduce the Motion Guidance Neuro Station. This is an eight foot by eight foot pop-up banner. It'll break down into a smaller case, but you can unfold it, pop it up in your clinic if you have room, and it just gives you a much larger, more visual workspace to use either our clinician kit or interactive pods. One really cool thing about this is the pods can magnetically attach to the tracking grid. So you can slide them around where you see fit and use up to 10 pods with the interactive app using this system. So let me demonstrate a few ways you can use this. This is our interactive system with the head mount laser pointer. We're using the app here so I can press start. And I've got three pods set up right now. And so this is just a random game where I'm trying to hit whatever pod it's gonna light up. So first I'm gonna standardize this to where I'm looking, and then I can play the game. Now you could obviously add some things like, you know, walking around, trying to add a challenge by doing different movements, catching a ball, standing on one foot, stand on a bossy ball. So as you can see, there's tons of different ways you can get really interactive using this with either the standard laser pointer, doing motion guidance tracking, or with the interactive system. The background also has the center target here, which is standardized for joint positional error testing. And you can research more about that on our website in terms of how to set up the test with your patient and how to use it and administer it with the clinician kit. One of the coolest things about this product is that the pods are interacting to movement. So whether you're wearing this on your head or your shoulder, where you aim your body part, is going to trigger these targets. However, you can also use a touch feature. So with this larger system, you can move these pods around depending on where you want to promote movement. So for instance, I could have someone here doing the touch function. And let's say I want to get a little more reach. And I can instruct them, you know, only use their right hand You can manipulate where you want targets. So that's just another nice feature of having this larger system with the movable pods. Your data is going to be recorded on the Motion Guidance app in real time. So when you turn on the screen, you're going to see which targets are active. So I have three targets and the real time data will be collecting information on how fast you reach the target. You can also manipulate the colors, um, how many targets you're using, if you want them touch activated or laser activated. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to laser. Once I press start, you can see that pod's gonna light up. When you stop your game, you can get a data breakdown of your performance. Beyond working on motor skill training or reaction time training, the Motion Guidance Interactive System can also do really cool things for training cognitive function. On the interactive app, we've got a lot of different games and I'll demonstrate just one of them being a sequence memory. So when I press start, you're gonna see three colors appear. And then you have to hit those colors in the same sequence 
did they appear to? So we've got green, red, yellow. We'll go green, red, yellow. If you mess up and you miss the sequence, all targets will appear red and you're gonna get marked on the real-time data section of the app. And you can go back and look at how many of these games out of the number that you played, you guessed correctly and which ones you guessed incorrectly. You can add challenge by using many more targets. So I've only got three, but you can use up to 10 targets with this system. You can also change the speed at which they appear. So this is one of the ways you can use the Motion Guidance Interactive System for more of a cognitive task. And we have many more on the games that come on our app. Another cool game we'll demonstrate real quick is the dual focus game. Uh, this uses our Motion Guidance Interactive System with the app. And I'm going to be using the NeuroStation for this with three targets set up. So essentially, the purpose of the game is to add different cognitive challenges and also an element of a reaction time. So you can make this as hard as you want. You can make different letters appear faster on the screen, slower. You can make the pods turn on faster or slower. Um, but let me give you a quick rundown of how this works. So we'll go ahead and press start. And what you'll see is multiple letters appearing on the screen. And so you're gonna instruct your client to call out those letters as they come up while also interacting with the targets as they light up. You can also move this screen around. So maybe if they have a peripheral vision issue to one side, or for whatever reason you want them more focused to left or right, up or down, you can put the screen in different places. So if I'm standing here, put on the interactive laser, turn it on. You can also stand on something unstable. And then I can say L, Y, H, Q, E, N, J, B, S, C, I, H, and so forth. You can certainly have this more in their central vision, or like I said, left or right. And that's just one of the many games that the Motion Guidance Interactive app can offer you. The Motion Guidance Neuro Studio is great for using the interactive pods. But it's also a really cool tracking banner to use with the standard Motion Guidance Clinician Kit setup. So with this, you're just gonna get a much larger interactive field to do your motor training drill tool. You can work on calling out different numbers, working with a metronome, and do any number of vestibular training drills that we have on our website. We have this system available now, so you can check it out at motionguidance.com and reach out with any questions. Thanks.